Why is it so hard to get up in the morning when it is cold and still dark outside? How is it I am so much more energized in the summertime rather than in winter? Is there a way to deceive my perception and battle these fluctuations in energy level, mood and habitual tendency? But should I really fight those? Hello fellow daydreamers and welcome! In this video I will be talking about the idea of setting up your daily life and projects in tune with the current season. Since we're about to enter spring, this will be the season I focus on here. But I'm planning on doing more videos like this for every season of the year. So stay tuned for further content! In my opinion, there lies great potential in these ever-changing processes in one's body and mind that depend on the season. The perspective of these alterations being completely natural first struck me when I informed myself about a similar concept, the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is too a naturally occurring process, influencing the behavior, mood and energy level of the person undergoing it. I've seen videos here on YouTube suggesting you should make certain adjustments and set your priorities according to the phase of the cycle you're currently in. Of course, this only applies to people who menstruate and maybe to the closest family, friends or partner who pay attention and support the person going through the cycle. The people around me surely need to consider my rather low energy level during my period. But isn't there a cycle in the bigger picture influencing all of us? So stemming from these videos about the menstrual cycle, I began to recognize how my habits and projects change throughout the year, having always locked them down in my bullet journal. I'm starting to see patterns within the year. <laughs> Depending on the season, different areas of my life become more relevant while others retreat to the background. Temperature, light of day, weather, even national holidays and cultural trends during designated times of the year harbor distinct feelings and therefore shape my daily routines and major project focus. Getting down to the core of the season coming up next in the Northern Hemisphere, what does spring portray? Let me paint you a picture. Spring is when nature slowly awakens from its deep winter sleep. The snow melts, making way for delicate green sprouts. Snowbells, then crocus, then daffodils spread some color into the still barren grayish world. The white frost covering the field behind my house fades as the faint sunshine seeps through the foggy sky, gaining more power day by day. The air smells cold but fresh. Birds are chirping again. Long winter darkness grows into lighter mornings. Those are the dawning hours of springtime. So spring is widely associated with rebirth, renewal, growth, love and youth. In ancient Greece, spring is said to have been a present by Demeter, the goddess of fertility, after she got reunited with her daughter Persephone, who got abducted by Hades, the god of the underworld. She had threatened the world with famine, but then blessed it with produce. Taking the natural trends of starting new, initiating things and growing them into your own personal life seems really intuitive to me. Just like farmers shape their daily life around their produce and the life cycles of their cattle, so could we. Before we jump into the daily adjustments, I want to say that I'm still very much a university student, which gives me extensive freedom in shaping my days the way I want. I acknowledge this is a privilege and doesn't apply to everyone, so I hope you can take whatever aspects that apply to your specific situation and still benefit from my ideas. So on the macro level of things, spring is the season where uni picks up its pace. Everything starts moving again after being kind of stagnant for the winter. The motion forward is what I feel in my body and mindset in this time, so I try to cater to that. The holiday representing spring where I live is Easter. So the Easter spirit with its idea of growth and rebirth also simmers in the back of my mind. Keeping these bigger things in mind, let's go for my day. I 
personally struggle to get up in the morning while it's still pitch black outside. But once spring rolls around, the sky start lighting up quite early in the day, even though the sun won't be up for some time. In addition to that, the temperature rises above the freezing point, climbing up to about 15 degrees Celsius. I'm using this to my advantage to get up earlier and being more comfortable in doing so. To combat the still low temperatures, I'm preparing my clothes the night before. This way I don't waste time choosing on what to wear and losing my cozy bed warmth while standing in front of the wardrobe. Since life begins to pick up pace around this time of year, my body starts to feel kind of restless. Instead of biting it or feeling uncomfortable by it, I'm using this physical state to get in an early workout. This also gives me the last kick. I need to finally be wide awake if I'm struggling to get up sooner in the day compared to winter. So I'm changing into my first outfit of the day, my workout gear. Since it's still cold outside, I'm opting to just grab my yoga mat and do 10 minutes to half an hour of strength exercises to not overwhelm my body with the sudden increases of workouts that in the winter were kind of non-existent, to be honest. I'm targeting a different body part each day. Make sure you stretch after your workout to prevent major soreness in your muscles. Even after 10 minutes of moving, I feel accomplished and awake in body and mind and energized. The rush of endorphins that working out produces makes me feel ready to tackle the day. After a quick wash or shower, depending on how much sweating was involved, I'm changing into my outfit of the day. Sometimes though I have group fitness classes in the evening. On those two or three days in the week, I'll swap out my morning workout with stretching in bed and get my body weight and then doing some chores as in doing laundry, hoovering, or cleaning the bathroom. Chores also make me feel productive and accomplished early in the day, whilst helping my inner restlessness. For chores, I even also like to wear my workout gear because that's especially breathable and movable. So the first outfit of the day will always be some form of a leisure wear. But let's get to my regular daily outfit. Clothing has a bigger impact on my mood and mode of day than I thought. So I try to let my outfit set me up for a successful day. If I'm just working from home, cozy pants but still functional casual style will ease my body but still prevent me from slouching on the couch. If I'm out and about, running errands or going for a coffee with a friend, style and needs in my clothing changes. The overall trend in my clothing during spring is me transitioning more to lighter layers, lighter colors, lighter fabrics like spring dresses, blouses, denim, sneakers rather than boots, cardigans rather than those thick jumpers I use in winter, and hairbands as accessories. So I'd call my spring style kind of casual cottage core. And combined with that, I would now use more dainty silver and gold jewelry. And my makeup leans rather fresh and radiant, maybe with some fake freckles, and I'm using more pastel colors or rosy tones for my eyeshadow. So starting into a productive work day, I'm trying to pay attention to the times I'm able to focus more easily and times I struggle with that. Gathering that my attention span fluctuates throughout the day depending on tiredness, hunger, distraction and motivation in general. I'm trying to set myself up for success by working with those changes. So in the morning after my workout and getting ready, a quick snack like a banana or an apple will combat early hunger. So this way I'm able to work for a few hours until lunchtime mostly without major difficulties. Being not tired at all and motivated from the steps beforehand that all worked towards me getting things done. Once I start noticing my focus is slipping, I will pause and eat lunch. Right after lunch, when my body is digesting food, I tend to feel lazier. So if it is a jam-packed day of work, I'll only eat a light meal during the day and shift the heartier one to the evening. 
otherwise I'm using the lazy face after lunch to do some chores that don't require much focus where I can watch some episodes of a series alongside it even. The tricky thing is now to make a cut and get back to work. I have different strategies for that. I'm either going outside to make the cold air wake me up again, to refresh my mind and body, stretch or take some deep breaths, or I'm taking a 20 minute power nap. When the alarm goes off though, I return to the desk ASAP. You must not hit snooze. So after continuing work for some time, I like to set some snack beside me so I don't think about dinner time too soon. So that is more a treat to keep me going. It's either some nuts, fruit, biscuits or crisps, depending on my mood. And with the sun going down, I slowly get into more administrative work, slowly get into my bullet journal to plan out the next day. And that's also when my family returns home and I start thinking about dinner. This year I'm trying to eat more things that are in season. For spring in Switzerland that would be blueberries, strawberries and raspberries as healthy snacks. And for full-on meals, vegetables like asparagus, cucumber, radish, many different lettuces, rhubarbs, tomatoes and many more veggies. My rule of thumb is that there should be at least one warm meal per day, even if it's only a soup. Judging from the busyness of my schedule, I would then pick meals that take more or less time to prepare. After dinner is when my downtime is. So I'm getting quite tired from a long day, have, have just eaten something and the lack of daylight on the spring evening. That's when I start to turn inward and focus on myself. It's a time of some self-care and creative projects. In the evening is when I maintain my body, do facials or have some cozy reading time. It's also when I journal more extensively. My media journal, to reflect on media that I consumed or in my travel junk journals to lock down memories from past adventures. Special focus in spring is my denim jacket that I'm embroidering with everything I can think of that defines me because that's the time to wear it out. The last thing I do in a day is physically setting up the next day. So I'm laying out my outfit, my workout gear and accessories for the next day so I don't have to think about that in the morning just to have the start of the next day as frictionless as possible. And with this day coming to an end, we're at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dream along some more, subscribe. Seize your spring days. Bye!